And hello everybody, welcome back to the cube competition. Today we are going to be talking about the first round and everything that has happened so far in the competition. Guys, this is gonna be cool. We're gonna be talking about everything that's happened as I just stated, goodness. We are going to be uh, talking about some specific matches and we're gonna be looking at a little bit of gameplay. You'll be seeing some gameplay of some matches on the background of this talk over here. We're just gonna be doing a general overview of what happened in round one in the cube competition. So if you are interested and excited to see this video play out please consider hitting the like button but you don't have to until you have decided you like the video and also please consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell as you can get more content similar to this and be notified whenever the next cube tournament video comes out but again that is your choice not mine let's talk about what has been happening the tournament has finished its first round. The first 64 teams have competed, and guess what? We're down to 32. Uh, I will admit that about one out of uh, three teams, uh, one out of three matches have had a result due to a disqualification. Uh, we apologize for that. There was a lot of bad communication going on, but because of it, we are now down to 32 teams that know what they're doing. So we're hoping that things are going to get better in terms of disqualifications. So again, these disqualifications were bad communication communication between the two teams competing we do not dictate what time teams compete they get to decide that themselves and agree upon a time so they don't show up to a time that they state that they are able to show up so it is their fault that they do not show up and that is why they're disqualified we have no say on what exact time they have to compete we only limit them to a certain time it, we only limit them to a certain amount of time that they can compete uh, which for the first round was four days So now that we've gone through that. Let's I also need to apologize real fast. This is out a bit late um, I need I needed extra time to work on this video So this is going to take a, this is out a bit later than I would have liked But we are here now and then finally I'd like to also note that I'm going to become get more active when it comes to the cube Competition we're gonna be having more videos out on the game on the tournament more gameplay more Overviews. We're gonna have some interviews. I've already interviewed some people So we will be having an interview video posted out on this channel really soon So make sure you hit the subscribe to get that on your uh, Suggested but again, you don't have to that's, yeah, that's all your choice So here is the current bracket for the cube competition as you can see We are down to 32 teams and there are a lot of teams that did not progress uh, as always We have to half each amount of teams every round so 32 teams are now out of the competition and we're going to go ahead and name two of the most notable ones, uh, two that a lot of people expected not to happen and actually happened, two of the big upset battles here. The first one wasn't actually even a battle. Spidey and Weeby did not progress. Uh, this is probably uh, big breaking news right here. Weeby and Spidey did not show up at their competition and were disqualified. Therefore, potato for dinner and randomizer progress. Now, the great thing is that Randomizer Potato for Dinner are actually going to be competing against the Burned Hunter and Mad Be Good. So that is going to be a really good match, and I'm going to try to get that one on recording for you guys, because that's going to be a very interesting match to see, especially considering Potato for Dinner and Randomizer have yet to compete in this competition. Uh, another notable uh, progression, uh, an apology from the Game Masters and myself. We had a duplicate team on the on the bracket. We had a team submit twice, once for each person, and we had that actually happened multiple times with our form and we thought we had cleared out every single one of the duplicates however we had failed to do so we ended up having to allow xbox gene xbox genius and mackie the free win to move on to the second round so that team got really lucky here so they are now on to the second round another one telly and wolf slayer epic managed to move forward uh their opponents were not in the discord and that was another free win for them we had a lot of disqualifications due to teams not showing up but i did not have all those those are just the notable dis notable free move forwards that i have here now another big upset that a lot of people were surprised about was the Sakura Edge and Jedi Dodge Kenyon versus Von Drake and Spy battle. Sakura Edge and Jedi Dodge Kenyon won this battle. And this one actually really surprised me. I just actually did an interview with Von Drake and Spy, and it seems like both teams were doing relatively well. I'm going to be going into more detail on this in a future video where I go and interview Spy and Von Drake, and we will be discussing this battle with them and how the tournament's been playing out so far. So make sure you've got your notifications on. Again, another reminder for that. 
Um, but it was a very good battle from what I heard. They are the only team that I know of that actually managed to reach wave 60, which is the final wave in the in the competitive. So that was pretty cool to see. But in the end, Von Drake and Spy were unable to win due to partially due to the fact that Spy ended up getting disconnected late in the match. So but sad to see there, but it was a good game, and I can't wait to be, for you guys to hear that uh, to hear our interview whenever that video comes out. We had another, a lot of other wins. Um, we have some gameplay here from many uh, battles, including one with uh, Sick IGN and J Man. They had a good battle against Igor and Hero Brian Kid. Uh, it seemed like they were actually pretty evenly matched, except for that Sick IGN and J Man used oil rigs, giving them a pretty big advantage when it came to income, and so they were able to. To eventually defeat Igor and Hero Brian Kid and progress onto the second round. We overall had quite a lot of competitions, and I apologize if I have not mentioned your team so far, uh, but there is a lot to talk about here uh, as we've already gone over most of the more notable matches. There are some other ones you may be seeing in the gameplay. These are kind of just general battles from some teams, and I hope you do enjoy that. I would like to add on that um, we do have one little bit of a clip from unthinkable they progressed on to the next round congratulations to those two that was actually pretty funny to uh go this is actually a pretty funny clip so go ahead and watch this this is pretty darn funny to see here so enjoy this little clip that they sent in to me With that, they have also progressed on to the next match. And we have a lot of other teams that have moved on via either disqualification or winning their match. I will note that as of current, as of me speaking this, we have already had some round two matches progress. So I do know some things that I'm not mentioning in this video. However, I'm going to note that we have a lot of good matchups happening. Uh, the biggest one that I can think of right now is Randomizer and Potato, and, for, and potato for Dinner versus The Burned Hunter and Matt Be Good. Definitely looking forward to that. Also really cannot wait to see who wins with Sakuraj and Jedi Dodge Kenyon versus Universal Reality and Joseph Place. That's gonna be a really good match and I can't wait to see that. And then finally, I think I'm really looking forward to seeing some more matches from many other people. Kevorg and Munchin 4 and Queeky and Redwork. Kevorg and Munchin 4, I actually managed to get in their battle. Um, however, their opponents ended up getting going AFK or at least one of them did, leaving them um, unable to defend and they lost pretty early giving Kvork and Munchin for the win So I'm really interested to see how they handle against Queeky and Redwort as they haven't had that much of a battle yet Guys, this is going to be really incredible and as I was talking um, in my interview earlier and as kind of a sneak peek We talked a lot about strategy and something that we really figured out is that strategy And I've been watching our videos that I've been getting sent in and stuff like that while looking at things strategies are really varied there, there's not one strategy it changes there is not a specific strategy to win the game because i've seen people win and lose for many different reasons and from from many different strategies Vaughn and Spy had a really good strategy going in, and they almost win, but they made a single mistake, which we will be talking about, which did end up causing them to just be removed from the competition. It was very sad, but again, that was just one strategy. They had one strategy. The other team had their own strategy. Everybody has their own strategy, and it's really cool to see how different strategies play out in this competition. So I'm really happy to say I'm really glad to be able to say that without a doubt strategy is not one thing you can change your strategy That strategy is not one specific thing and nothing else There are many ways to play the game and attempt to win so guys Don't think that just one strategy is the only way to win your competitive matches There are multiple ways to do it. So good luck with your games
to the future to the competitors that are going out i assume at least some of you have already competed if you want congratulations uh we will not be talking about that until my next uh we will not be talking about most of the team's wins until the end until the next update video however i may be doing some actual matches where me and maybe a fellow game master commentate on it we'll be watching and checking that out so definitely need to be um, keeping up on the channel for that as well um, i'm definitely going to get much more dedicated into this tournament on the channel guys we are through with the first round and i cannot wait to see how the second round goes on uh, uh this is going to be really cool and uh, i'll be trying to be a lot more active with keeping up with the tournament and opponents and teams and seeing how they all and how it all plays out we'll be doing more interviews we've already got one that's in the works that should be coming out really soon uh and yeah the tournament's going on the cube competition is still going on make sure you keep updated through my channel and we will be seeing you all in the next video uh final note anybody that sent me in a video if it was a link if i can access it via a link it is linked in the description below so if you would like to go see the full video of those go check out those links they will all be available down in the description guys thank you everyone so much for watching and i will see you on the battlefield goodbye everybody